Conway Jones. Welcome to the channel. Have you ever wondered why there's no exclamation point on a vintage typewriter? Well, I sure have, and this is what I discovered. As you can see, this royal, quiet deluxe from the mid-1950s does not have an exclamation point anywhere. It's not on this royal P from 1929 either. You won't find it anywhere on this Remington from the 1930s. So typewriters being mechanical machines did not have unlimited keys and neither did they want to make it an unwieldy machine. And so some symbols could be created by combining existing characters. This includes the exclamation point. So for an exclamation point, you simply type an apostrophe, then you hit the backspace, and then you type a period below. And that's how you create the exclamation point. So you'd use your apostrophe, and then you would backspace and hit the period. Now, some machines had special fonts. Usually these were cursive fonts, which looked like handwriting. With this, you couldn't use this method because the apostrophe would be slanted and it wouldn't look like an exclamation point. Those types of machines had a designated exclamation point. Now there are some exceptions. Some of the vintage typewriters did have exclamation points, but that was because you could custom order your keyboard and it was available if you thought you were going to use it quite often. But otherwise, it was simply easier to create it through this method. It is on this Olympia from the late 50s, but it's over on the right with the three-quarter key. By the mid-1950s, and up until the end of the mechanical typewriter era, which was around 1970, the exclamation point began to appear on every keyboard. It was usually coupled with the number one, as it is today. Now, the reason for this is that by then, the exclamation point was being used regularly. And so having three different keystrokes to create it was no longer considered useful. It's really interesting and rather amazing that the modern computer keyboard is essentially the typewriter keyboard carried over with some additions. In a future video, I'll show you why a vintage typewriter doesn't have a number one key either at least usually. If you've enjoyed this video, please like and follow and share it with someone else who you think might also like it. Also, leave me a comment as to what you'd like to see in future videos.